Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project computer cells and service system and uh, I have developed this project in Java JS and MySQL. The version for the Java I am using is the JDK 1.8 for MySQL version I am using MySQL 5.6 and for connecting MySQL with the Java and JSP I am using the MySQL J connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. Okay, so for front-end development I am using the HTML CSS and JavaScript some of the JPA library also I have used like uh, for calendar integration uh, form validations and many more things i have used the jquery lab library so let's start with the functionality go through so the project title is computer sales and service system and uh, it's a mini project which i have developed in java jsp and mysql and it's a web based project also right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is the home page and uh, this is about so if you want to change the content of the page, then you can change active from the HTML page, right? This is the admin login from where you will be able to log in. Miss admin will be able to log in. If you doesn't have the user ID and password, if you don't have the user ID and password, then you will not be able to log inside the system. This is a contact us page and this is the static contact us page. I am not saving the data of this contact us page anywhere into the database. So let's log in with the admin. So once you log in with the admin, then you will be able to see this uh, dashboard and this operations admin can perform, means admin can add the products. So you can see this is the product form from where admin will be able to add the product, right? So you can see this is the product entry form, this is a product company, right? So these both drop downs are coming from the database, means the value of drop downs are getting uh, the value of uh, these drop downs are coming from the database if you want to change and if you want to add then you can add active from the database right and you need to enter the product name product units product price units right and description here this is add product this is a add cells means you can add the cells from here right then you need to enter the customer name here and the customer mobile and you need to select the items quantity and the unit price and the unit price what and you can add any number of items even you can remove it from here right so you can oh i'm selecting one item right and one and you can set the price you can enter the price here according to your requirements right and the total amount you need to enter here right okay so total amount uh, you need to pay is 1000 rupees means the customer need to pay is 1000 rupees right and once you click on the save, save sales then this sales will be saved and you will get the items into the printable format and even you will be able to print the receipt from here also right so this is the add product from where you will be able to add the product this is add sales right this is a report in product report product reports all of the product uh, which you have added into a database will be displayed here even you can search the product from here also right you can see it's working fine right and if you want to edit any of the product just click on the edit you will be able to edit the record from here this is a sales report all of the sales which has been added by you will be displayed here and once you click on the view details you will be able to see the sales details right all of the sales details you will be able to uh, see here right so you can see this one right so all of the sales details will be missing you can tell this is a sales history page right which is containing the each and everything about the sales right this is a logout functionality was admin logout from the system the above menu will not be displayed let me show you so the above administration menu is not displaying if I log in, then administration menu is displaying, right? Okay. So the above menu is totally session driven. Means if admin logins, then administration menu will be displayed. If admin doesn't log in, then the above uh, administration menu will not be displayed, right? So this is all about the project computer cells and service system. But if you need more functionality in this page, just click into the comment. I will incorporate those changes and I will make this project more uh, and more good according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much